Executive Mosaic is pleased to announce the selection of Steve Escarovage, an Executive Vice President at Booz Allen Hamilton, to the 2023 WASH 100, for his commitment to championing responsible integration of artificial intelligence into operations. When Mantech was acquired by the Carlyle Group in September 2022, Matt Tate was selected to lead the enterprise as CEO and President. Now, six months later, Executive Mosaic sat down with Tate, a 2023 WASH 100 award winner, to get an inside look at the integration and find out what's next for Mantech in this new chapter. Kratos will handle Lot 19 production of the Air Force subscale aerial targets under an award worth $21.7 million. Anthony Robbins, Vice President of NVIDIA's Federal Arm, said automated drones and other technologies could be used to detect wildfires, which could help agencies achieve savings and reduce the need for personnel. The U.S. Air Force awarded Northrop Grumman a spot on a consortium for Phase 1 of the Common Tactical Edge Network project. James Shaw, a retired U.S. Navy commander, has been appointed Chief Commercial Officer of OneWeb Technologies. Richard Clark, a retired four-star general who served the U.S. Army for nearly 40 years, has joined the board of directors of Shift 5. Lockheed Martin Sikorsky subsidiary will build an uncrewed hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft prototype in partnership with General Electric's aerospace business. Join GovConWire's event's third annual IC Acquisition and Technology Innovation Forum on March 9, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Draper has expanded its operations through the opening of a new office in Indiana, marking the nonprofit engineering innovation company's ninth office branch across the United States. HII's Newport News Shipbuilding Unit has received additional approval to use additive manufacturing to produce stainless steel pipe fittings for the Naval Sea Systems Command's ships and other platforms.